day and night, the people of Kuching love coming here. It is a place for gathering festivals or a Friday evening stroll. And of course, there are lots of people in Kuching right now. All different backgrounds, religions and races mixing together harmoniously. But did you know that Kuching only officially became a city in 1988? Well, as a matter of fact, Kuching is the only city in Malaysia with two mayors, north and south, divided by the river. And the population is growing ever so quickly. Kuching needed somewhere to bring the people together, where north and south meet. And where else but right here at the waterfront. So it's all about generating economy, generating income for themselves. I, I love to see this because I love to see more of uh, our local people to understand more of what tourism is all about. SCDC at the time was very um, conscious of what it wants to be to the community. So it was constantly looking at uh, what can we do better, what can we do more. We keep on getting. We're very, um, you know, we're, we're very good about getting feedback, how we're doing, and start improving those feedbacks. So you can say that the contribution by SADC towards tourism and uh, tourism products are tremendous. And not just that, the pride of Sarawak, the pride of those from Kuching, the Kuching waterfront, it's also, uh, SADC has got a hand in that. We did the waterfront, I remember that. And uh, I remember we hiring um, Australian consultants who, who did the uh, the, uh, the Sydney Harbour. So we had the same consultants. So there's some lot, lot of beautiful ideas doing the waterfront. And uh, I, I think so, the waterfront thing remains one of, the, one of the main attractions in Kuching today, which is very nice. And um, yeah, we, we did that with, with a lot of, you know, <laughs> with a lot of passion those days. We wanted it to be also a place where all, uh, especially uh, not just visitors, but local Sarawakians can enjoy in the evening. I think the place is still popular now. Yeah. So you can say that uh, SADC is in the forefront when it comes to building up tourism, making Sarawak to be a more interesting place, bringing in uh, visitors from outside. I've been going around there. I took pictures at the waterfront. You know, we went for a walk uh, at the waterfront. There's a new place where I think uh, we all, uh, with my officers, we just we just took pictures just to show the people this is the IG spot. Now, so many things happen right here at the waterfront. Before, it was a centre of trade and exchange. Now, it is a meeting point of a different kind. And first developed by SCDC, it is now managed by DBKU making sure that the development continues to work for the people of Kuching. I think Sarawak Economic Development Corporation or SEDC uh, is one of our very important partners, uh, especially when SEDC, I think one of the core uh, areas that they look into is the state's tourism development. So uh, we appreciate the contribution by SEDC in terms of providing a lot of star hotels, all right, resorts, uh, and also not only that, in terms of physical infrastructure, they actually also uh, involve uh, a lot in events and festivals. One is the Kuching Waterfront Jazz Festival, which is organized every year.
everyone we spoke to, they said, where are you going to? And we told them, and every single person said, oh, we love Kitchen. <laughs> it is so beautiful. <laughs> I love this waterfront. Yeah. It's, it's absolutely lovely. We did a we did a, a small trip on one of the little boats this morning just to have a look round, and then we thought, well, we'll do the sunset cruise as well. Everyone we spoke to, they said, well, "Where are you going to?" And we told them, and every single person said, "Oh, we love Kitchen. <laughs> it is so beautiful." <laughs> and so we we're not disappointed. It is very beautiful. Yeah. Kami uh, menguruskan galeri di situ, menguruskan galeri dengan uh, semua produk di situ lah yang dijual di situ. Sebabnya tempat tu nyata bagi kepada dua bahagian. So bahagian situ yang serawak craft council pun nyata buka daripada 8 sampai 5 uh, dari Isnin sampai Jumaat, and then sebelah ya sidaknya buka daripada tiap-tiap hari lah buka uh, 9 sampai pukul 9, 9 pagi 9 malam. Yang menariknya kucing waterfront tu adalah tempat apa tu? Tempat kunjungan pelancong sige, and then tempat tumpuan orang ramai sih kira pelancong ka ataupun uh, dari sini sinilah even kita pun loh ke situ memang suka datang situ jalan-jalan mbak family semua sofa kini tu mohon dibandingkan dengan dulu kini tu nya okey lah uh, boleh dipadahnya lebih bagus lagi daripada dulu so lebih banyak lagi orang yang datang melawat semua uh, berjalan di area waterfront kini tu. Bagi pendapat kami aktivitinya sesuai uh, selain daripada apa tu pameran craft uh, acara sidak basking macam dulu acara basking sidak berjualan di tebing-tebing sungai sebab ia boleh menarik perhatian orang ramai gitu lah kenangan manis kami di Kuching Water France itu adalah bila kami orang dapat menganjurkan handicraft week ya apa ya ia adalah pameran Tiap-tiap tahun kami orang di Sulawesi Selawak lah. Tapi kami orang ada mengaturnya apa ya ada pola ya masa saya di apa tu di Waterfront situ. Ya lah, kira paling best lah walaupun lelah tapi kira best juga lah masa saya. Uh, Mun di kucing kami orang akan pola di Waterfront sebab ya tempat memang sesuai dan strategik lah. Seratus peratus saya punya, saya jahit tadi uh, lepas dua tahun saya ber, ber, uh, ber, berkecimpung dalam uh, perniagaan ini, saya belajar lah, belajar macam mana menjahit melalui YouTube saja. Saya tak ada formal cara menjahit. Uh, dengan dengan membeli baju, saya buka baju macam mana nak menjahit ukurannya, dari situlah saya ya, belajar sendiri. Ya, mula-mula dulu saya sebagai vendor lah berpindah rendah di mana ada event saya masuk masuk join lepas tu bila ada kesempatan untuk 
membuka kedai di Bau, jemputan saya pun ada juga kedai di Bau atas majlis daerah Bau. Kemudian ada dengar di sini, saya pun memohon jadi syukurlah saya dipilih untuk menjual di sini. Kita dah sedia maklum untuk waterfront untuk nang tempat umum, publik, pelancong. Jadi terutamanya waktu petang-petang memang ada orang masuk. Jadi harapan kita selepas Covid tenak and pandemic tu. Jadi harap-harap ramai yang masuklah. Ah ha? supaya apa tu perniagaan kita majulah ah ha? yang diharap diharap-harapkan. Kita dapat berkenalan dengan rakan niaga, ya kenangan manis kita berkongsi pengongsi pengalaman dan juga uh, ramai yang datang dia dia tahu di mana nak dapat pakaian macam ini pakaian tradisional di mana uh, kita dapat sumbernya lah. You know if you have this sort of uh, scenery. Multi scenery, I think Kuching would be a nice city. really is the heart of Kuching. During heavy rain, the Kuching Barrage and Shiplock plays an important role in mitigating the floods in our city. It is another SEDC development project. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is a little known fact. One is, of course, uh, you upgrade your facility, including waterfront. Second is, uh, you must be able to market your products efficiently, so that people uh, are willing to come in. That's where technology is important in terms of marketing. You have to use the latest 5G, where uh, you use uh, VR or uh, IR uh, for you to market your products. Uh, once uh, there is a bite in the market, then they want to have the experience to come over here. Uh, that is tourism. Of course, uh, your services must be good. Uh, for instance, hotel, services, all that. If you talk about development in terms of uh, infrastructure, you see on our part, um, when there's any request for upgrading of infrastructure or rebuild the infrastructure that comes under the economic planning unit, so we will have to request. But for me, I would rather see uh, more of promotion and improve through the agencies that we have in Sarawak uh, in order to uh, help to develop tourism industry. because. What SEDC or any other agency does is also to help the country to spur the economy. We look at it as spurring economy through tourism industry. Bearing in mind, in 2019, Malaysia has uh, contributed in terms of tourism. We were among the, I think, second to contribute to our GDP. Uh, we had about 15.9 percent, you know. So that's a lot of money, and. Uh, if we work together, collaborate with all the agencies, especially in this part for Sarawak, we work together, we, have, we build new products and get more people from outside, or even locally, to support the industry. And a lot of things that can be um, achieved through our efforts, through SADC, helping the state government to also uh, um, promote tourism 
and then um, a lot of I, I think SCC has a lot of facilities as well. We work together and create it to become a tourism uh, destination. Now we are going to extend our waterfront right up to Satok, passing through the Kampong. And then we are doing uh, from Sungai Pedil right up to Kampung Tanjung. And I want to continue up to Kampung uh, Tupong. And then once that is done, you can see we have to beautify our river front, this side. And the other side of Sarawak River is the Darul Hana development. So you upgrade all the facility as well as uh, the scenery while you try very best to conserve or preserve the traditional kampong. That is why you notice the waterfront from Sungai Bedel to uh, Kampung Lintang up to Kampung Tanjung is different from the other waterfront. What I did was I just claim uh, land, we claim the land and then make it natural without any so much uh, hard uh, surface. So you can see the, the, the black kampung still there. And the black kampung, they shift uh, the front to, to the river now. And then the, because of that, I think the, the price of land really showed up. The house also showed up. So, it, you know, if you have this sort of uh, scenery, multi scenery, I think Kuching would be a nice city. The development of the river goes all the way down here on the isthmus, but at one time there wasn't even a connecting bridge. Now there's an award-winning convention centre and the headquarters of Sarawak's two most important companies. In fact, the headquarters of Sarawak Economic Development Corporation is located right here. SEDC have had branches across the state right from the start. But it's not just about public infrastructure and tourism, it goes far beyond that. So join us next time as we head out across Sarawak to see how SEDC has been supporting agriculture, even taking us as far as Australia. Connecting Sarawak to the world. Back in the 70s, we have acquired the Rosewood Cattle Station in Northern Territory in Australia, which uh, is capable of holding up to 40,000 heads of cattle. 